fans, welcome to Knuckleheads 14. My name is Garrett Furtick. With me on commentary is our announcer and my co-commentator, the Christopher Cope. That's me. I'm here. That's you, that's you. All right, we're looking at our first fight tonight, a 135-pound amateur fight coming in the uh, cage right now. Austin the Beast Stevens, he holds an 0-1 record. He fought at uh, Knuckleheads 14 against Brian Heenan, lost via rear naked choke. I know, you probably don't know much about him, Chris. You wing it. I do. Yeah, I don't know shit. I didn't even look at him when he walked in. His, uh, his shorts look pretty new. Well, I know, you'll tell him about that. There's no, no blood yet. See some creases. Yeah, a little bit. Austin, 21 years old. He was born in Albany, but fights out of Salem. Once again, lost his debut to Brian. He needed to be a rear naked choke. He uh, fights for Animals MMA under Coach Enoch Wilson. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. He, wow. will, he will be well trained. Enoch doesn't just throw guys in there. That's true, he doesn't. Enoch's got more fights than anybody I know in the history of the world, so. Yeah. A lot. Coming to the cage right now, Tim DeVore, two and one, both of his wins by TKO. Uh, in watching this kid, he's good in the scramble, that's for sure. He's raised in Madras, fighting out of Madras. He's a brown belt in Kajikempo. Uh, the kid, he's tall and lanky by comparison to uh, Steven, so I think he's gonna use his reach pretty well in this fight. I would. I would use those King of the Cage gloves myself. I didn't Stuff them in my opponent's face. Yeah. I mean, I guess they were probably free, right? Quickly and very often. They might have been if he, if he fought for King of the Gate. Well, I don't think he did, but he found them on eBay. Uh huh. He's good. Thumbs up. All right, looks like they are ready. Let's uh, swing it over to Chris Cope here in just a minute for your fight announcement. Kelly Whitlock, the referee. Okay, everybody moved. I can see this guy. Yep, there's still a, a, a massive crease, two places. A vertical one on there. Those are brand new shorts. He didn't even wash them. <laughs> All right, well, we're underway. It may not matter. Shorts only matter if you put them in your opponent's face. Well, it matter if you wear them sometimes. Feeling out process. 
Stevens is a wrestler, so I think he's going to... There it is. Right on cue, looking for the shot. You didn't even have to tell me that. I would have seen that and said, said this kid on bottom needs to know to get his yard around him. Yep. So like I said, uh, DeVore is a uh, brown belt in Kajikempo, which I had to look it up to know oh. exactly what that was. Uh, I've heard of it. I've seen people fight with it. And DeVore is looking at the referee like, you going to stand us up? He doesn't even know how good a position he's got there, if he can hang on to it. Escape his hips just a little bit. Yep, towards the cage. I've heard a lot of stuff from his corner, but not that. Animal's corner right over here. He's, he's coaching his guy how to get through this. Yeah, I think Austin's got to get those hands off first. I don't think there's a lot of chokes in Kajikembo. No, I, I don't. So apparently... That is not how I'd have played it. Right, yeah. right back into his guard. I would have stayed in... Uh, half guard. In the half guard, yeah. Well, yeah, you got to get that... Get that uh, right shoulder, right arm up over the shoulder. I guess now he's got to get his yeah, left arm over no, the shoulder. He's, he's got an arm in. That's an arm in. Oh, he just opened his guard. He, well, must, he must not have known how close he was. Stevens out. He powered through it. That's good. Yeah, that's that is definitely one thing that uh, Stevens has. He he has power for being a, a short guy. That was a good escape and stand up. Um, I, I guess as long as it's as long as it's straight, he should be leaning back. I wouldn't have fallen to my back like that. Yeah. He, Went to outside Ashi, sort of. Now, he, now he's kind of reaping. He should use that for a, for a sweep. Yeah. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Or Going back it. with it, but I don't think, I don't know if he knows, but. I'm going to go with clearly not. Yeah. Or going to go with that knee slide in, I hope. He should put weight on that knee and drive it across his face. Yep. He'd, he'd let, that's how you get people to let go of stuff. Make it bother them to, yeah. be, to be hanging on to it. It usually does suck when people you know, put all their weight on your sternum or your face. I hate that. It usually makes me fart. <laughs> but Kaja Kempo, anyway, like I said, I had to look it up. It's an American hybrid martial art, and it's basically a, a, a whole bunch of martial arts thrown together. The ka for karate. Kaja Kempo, is, is, uh, is that American for Jeet Kune Do? No, that's, <laughs> I believe that's American for karate, Korean karate, judo, jiu-jitsu, Kempo and Western Chinese boxing. Gotcha. At least Stevens abandoned that ankle because he wasn't getting anything from it. Yeah. Good punches to Stevens guard. Ten seconds left in round one. I'm not going to get that arm bar. No. Well, he knew it and let go early, but he took punches. Well, Stevens looks improved from the last time he fought here at Knuckleheads. Got wrestling and ankle locks. Yeah, apparently. That was a good round. That was a good round. And Steven told me he's uh, his strongest uh, discipline is his wrestling, which obviously we could tell. It, it flipped away. He went for the low ankle. Yep. And he thinks that DeVore's, DeVore's biggest weakness is his takedown defense. Um, I won't argue that. Yeah. Probably, not, he not probably been, been on the interweb and saw some of it. Yeah. Google ankle pick defense. Yeah. When they dive down, I just pick it up. They reach for my ankle, and then it's not there. Right. I, uh, I asked Tim, though. I said, uh, you know, describe your style. And he goes, might look a little sloppy, but uh, that's my style. Sloppy? Yeah. That is mom's proud. Wow. <laughs> there he went. His mom proud. Round two coming up. Here we Round go. Two. I foresee a, a takedown in this kid's future. Probably so. I don't think he's going to go low ankle, though. I think he's going to control the hips. Go for that uh, double? Yeah. <coughs> that's, a, that's a good way to negate the kick to the face. Yeah, if you're holding on to both the guys like this, it's tough for him to kick in the face. Good outside leg kick. Wish I knew there. what the reach. Here's your double. I'm, I'm psychotic. I knew it. I might have a fourth, even even a fifth sense. Wow. That's yeah. as many as everybody else. Good work. <laughs> I caught up. Yeah. Steven's getting his head out. That's good. He's, he's got to get heavy here. He is. He's a wrestler. He knows what he's doing. He's going to isolate this far arm. Or that near arm if uh, Kachikendo teaches you to leave it in there like that. Yep, and if he gets that 
Could have got that up. There it is. Oh, there it is. Classic wrestling mistake. Out. He's, He's out. He sat back too quickly. Yep. He sat back for it before he. Stevens needs to let go of that arm because it's not deep enough. Yeah, he, he had it there at one point, but he slipped out of it. I, if I was DeVore, I would have just stacked him up, but... Oh, slid right right to mount. Yeah. A couple of those head bops. Yeah, this... this uh, the floor of this cage is not very forgiving. Not at all. I fell down there once. Were you drunk? No. Oh, well, well that's that was surprising. I fell into the cage. Huh. Good thing nobody was here. One thing about DeVore, though, he still has really good hair right now. You noticed that? Uh-huh. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> Thanks for doing that one. Yeah. I'm just saying, I mean, that's that's like uh, Christian Bale, American Psycho, good hair. Pretty much. I can roll upside down on it, and it, and it doesn't move. Really. Yep. He's, he's got, uh, I don't know, how, what does he have he's Steven got Stevens in? Well, he could... He could actually attack in the triangle if he could change the right angle. Yep. He's, he's around the head, but he's, uh, he doesn't have any of his... He's not even bothering to pull Steven's right arm into it. Now his right arm's underhook. It's, it's caught in there, but he can't really do anything. But what, if he can isolate he, that? he should let go with his right hand and, and try to grab the wrist. Right. You know, I, uh, at this point, DeVore doesn't need the right hand to hold it in there. See that, that hook right there? If he reaches down... But what he's, he's Stevens is crawling towards that hand to protect it. There, he needs to, the board needs to use his other hand. And he's out. Couple punches, nice. Turn the corner. Way to work out for Stevens. <laughs> he blocked all the punches, but some snot and saliva might have fallen into his face. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if you're gonna get points for that though. No. Stevens, uh, I think he, he looks in better condition than he was last fight also. He's, he's still there. The yeah. boy, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll be honest. Okay. Listeners out there in listening land, when I hear Kaj Kempo in an MMA fight, I have, I have yet to be impressed. However, he's getting himself to good positions and he's using it to, uh, to, to survive. Yep. What I've noticed is he's in better positions than I think he realizes he's in. He might not know why he's in exactly. such position. Or what to do with it from there. Right. But he looks, DeVore looks more gassed than uh, Stevens does. At least in my opinion. Yeah, he was, he was putting in work. Yeah. All right, we're coming up on the third and final round here in this opening fight. When I try to figure out who's more gassed, I don't look at their chests. I look at their stomachs. Yep. Stomachs and diaphragms don't lie. Chests, yep. I can yep. slow my breathing down to take a big deep Shallow breath. breathing. All right, third round, here we go. They actually both look pretty fresh for a third round. Hey, even though this fight's into the third, it, it seems like it's gone by quite quickly. Amateur fights. Phew. Yeah. I mean, three minutes is only 360 seconds. You're not as good. It's actually terrible because I was wrong, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, because the minute in between? Or right. Did, well, you, did you not carry a four? I, no, I... <laughs> yeah. Four right now, the Kajikembo might be saying survive because you might be up two rounds I, for him. I that, think he is up second two round, round was closer, but... But Stevens didn't really do a whole lot of damage in any position. He shot from a yeah. long ways yeah. out. And he's going to want to turn the corner to put uh, DeVore on his back. See, right here is where he's got a great angle to switch to the guillotine. Yep. And try to come around. He's working on it. There, he's working there on it. Is. Don't be afraid to be on your back. There you go. Crossface. Kaju crossface. He might have invented it. No, it wasn't actually a crossface. It was reaching to the, short, the armpit. And well, I mean, you might have invented the Kaju crossface just now. He almost going to there it is very naked just jumped on his neck to a side which is not going to help his cause out no it's going to roll into the guard no it's got long legs that is not a guard i'd want to mess with no i hate long legged guards keeping steven's posture broke down so he uh, doesn't really take any punishment but i agree with you he's probably up two rounds to nothing at this point
good control there. Oh, good and head. Just took one in the face. Yeah, he did. in the face. Stevens is uh, he's getting great coaching over here. So Devore, good, wow, good get out. Nice. Anytime, anytime you're being just being held down and feel your opponent take a break, that's when you need to hit the hit the boom. You may not have a whole lot left, but that's when you need to expend it. All right, come nice. out. He's gonna have that uh, nice. right he hook. Swing his right knee under here and turtle right there. Yeah, this is not a good position for the oh, bow. Disappear. He's trying to trying to be strong with the kid his size on top of him. Yep. And this this is pretty much where a wrestler wants to be. So, well, he's winning. Yeah. Last ten seconds for a wrestler. He's winning. All right, we're going to go to the uh, judges' scorecards for the decision. Uh, I can't wait. And the Christopher Cook will let us know. So once again, this fight went all three rounds. We're going to go to the judges' scorecards for the decision.